You don't need a new year to have a new perspective. I find it so fascinating that everyone keeps talking about like 2020, 2020 is the worst. I can't wait until 2020 is over as if the clock hits midnight on December 31st and all of our problems go away. Or I think that you're also attaching something you want to change in yourself to a date. And if you could attach a feeling of change to December 31st, well then you could attach that feeling of change to today. This isn't 2020, this is your reality. This is your life as people are navigating through this as everyone keeps saying like, you know, it, it feels so scary, like the future's unknown, like the future has always been unknown. Your perspective will change when you understand that you are in control of how you see this world around you. If you can control that, you're untouchable. So I would get to the end of the year and I'm kind of like crash and burn into the end of the year um, because I would tell myself like, oh, January 1st, I get a restart. And then I thought, well, oh, that's crazy because I spend the last 90 days of the year basically sabotaging myself so that by the time I get to January 1st, I'm way further behind than I was in October. So I started this challenge that said, man, what if we were as intentional about the last 90 days of the year as we typically are about the first 30 of a new year? And 90 days specifically because there's studies that show if you could do something for 21 days, it becomes a habit. But if you could do something for three months, it becomes a way of life. And so often people ask me like, how do you get motivated? How do I motivate myself? And I don't believe in trying to motivate yourself. I believe in creating rituals and habits in your life that are so regular and normal for you that you don't even think about them anymore. Being intentional about finishing strong means that 2020 does not win, right? It means that, hey, we all got off track at some point, but we're gonna come back. We're gonna start with momentum and with energy. And we wanna finish knowing that we did our very best to take care of ourselves. So many people feel so discouraged, right? And when we're discouraged, we often reach for bad coping mechanisms, especially things from our past that we thought we had worked through. And every single day, I don't feel all the energy and the momentum, but every single day, I stand back up and I go again. Because I know that if I can just find the strength to take another step, even if it's like the tiniest baby inch forward, that I will be so much stronger, that my family will be stronger, that my business will be stronger for me having shown up.